Okay, welcome back. This is a training video for how to do a traffic pattern on the Electro Alpha. We are here at Aidoschina, which is the original home base of Pipistrel. So, our takeoff checks are completed with flaps 1 and let's go. First, we smoothly and slowly apply full power. We check that it's more than 55 kilowatts, which it is, it's like 70. Um, we unstick and accelerate to 60 knots. At 60 knots we go into climb, since we are light, the climb is spectacular. At 150 feet we go flaps to zero. And as soon as possible, so 150 feet, we power back to 40 kilowatts to conserve energy. Now the throttle has a bit of a lag, so we do this carefully and accurately. We have transitioned also to 76 knots uh, because this is the best climb speed. Now we are already way above 300 feet, so we go to third turn and the traffic altitude is, uh, which suits most, uh, the Alpha Electro is about 600 feet above ground level. So we check that we are 90 degrees into crosswind and 600 feet we level off and basically we set the power so we get about 70 70 kilo uh, 70 knots uh, this is about 15 17 kilowatt it depends it depends on the day it depends on the density altitude and we just fly a normal traffic pattern so about one kilometer of displacement from the runway and this is it uh, now we don't have to do anything more uh, until we reach um, the end of downwind when we will start the power checks. Okay, now this is a good time to check the temperature. So our state of charge is 74%. Uh, our uh, motor temperature is 64, so that's uh, below the limit. Our inverter temperature is 52, and these two will drop. Um, and we have also 34 degrees centigrade of battery temperature. Now remember, battery during one course of the flight, we cannot expect that it can it drops. Okay, so now we're a beam threshold. Um, we wait about 30 degrees so that the threshold is displaced about 30 degrees so that we can make, make our turn to base about 45 degrees off. So here we are, we're about 70, which is good. We should be uh, aiming that we're at 70 at uh, the beginning of base. Now, okay, we're 30 degrees, so power is going back, back to idle for the time being, and we maintain, we arrange our flight to maintain about 60 knots. Here we are, so you can see it's not a lot different than a normal piston engine Alpha trainer without the air brakes. So here we are, we have some traffic on the runway. Um, and we are now base. So base is maintained about 60 and we can go to flaps 1. Now we're about ready to turn to final. On final we can expect uh, speed to be 55 and over the threshold speed is 50. Okay, turning to final. Superb, we're lined up, the speed is correct, so we're about 50. We go now flaps 2 and make our uh, final checks. So basically we have aircraft configure flaps 2, we're on speed, the temperatures are okay and state of charge is sufficient. So now landing is just uh, landing like any other aircraft, it's very similar to the uh, piston engine Alpha. So here we are, we are maintaining 50, 50 knots, we will start uh, the flare in just a second, so here we are, and just hold it off. Remember, the key point in landing any virus type of aircraft 
is to land nose wheel high. This is the most common error is to put it down at a higher airspeed, but we don't want to do that. We want to maintain nose wheel high and this makes a perfect landing without any bounces. Remember, throttle at idle. So throttle at idle anytime it's necessary. And of course, yes, the propeller will stop and that's normal for electric car. And anytime we want to start moving, we just apply throttle. Oh, this was a traffic pattern with the Electro Alpha by Pipistrel. Thank you for joining us and don't forget you have more information about this on pipistrel-online.com.